Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. So you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back from me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. I remember how to make a lockpick. Let me see. Nice to see you. So much to choose from. Thanks.
Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. So we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Pick the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, sort guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come with strong with that lead pipe. You're gonna wanna block that. Just 
inherent in the system. got a sinking feeling. Oh God, this on. Oh God. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar.
I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <gasps> this won't take a minute. <gasps> not you, it's me.
to Angus McTavish the other day. Uh, I sense a Scottish joke coming on to you. <laughs> I went to see my old friend Angus McTavish the other day, and he was stripping all the wallpaper off his living room wall. Angus, I said, I can't believe you're redecorating. Um, no, he said, I'm moving house. I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right, now I just need that power seal. Sublimated dimotoline, the fuel of the future now. That's everything I had when they jumped me. I 
but I can disappear into those bushes. for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. Ow. It 
occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. You want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio!